Hello guys, in these videos I want to show you how to use the WordPress command line interface which is a WordPress site project and it's open source. With the WordPress command line interface uh, we can perform specific tasks using the command line instead of accessing the WordPress administration panel. Uh, in the following videos I will show you step by step some of the tasks that you can perform using uh, WP CLI and we will start by downloading and installing WordPress using these tools. Uh, so the WordPress command line, what it is, it is essentially a tool useful not just for developers but uh, also for non-technical users to perform some tasks. Um, related to WordPress, including the installation and creation of themes, plugins, and a lot of more um, tasks that you can do uh, with this tool uh, are available. I will uh, be working during these videos using the integrated terminal provided by Visual Studio Code, but you can use your favorite terminal uh, application or an IDE. Uh, like Visual Studio Code, and you will be fine with that. I also already have WordPress command line uh, interface installed on my machine. If you don't know how to set up your environment, you can refer to my latest video, my development environment, and I will leave a link in the description uh, for you. Um, let's get started with the first video and see how to download WordPress. So. Download and install WordPress using the WordPress command line interface is very easy. It's done in four simple steps. And first, you will need to download WordPress in your machine using the command WP core download. Let me first show you uh, when you install this uh, tool, you can simply type WP and you will be presented with a list of tasks that you can do. So you can see we have subcommands like cache, cap, CLI, comment, config, and a lot of more uh, by scrolling down, including you can enable maintenance mode and create plugins, uh, post types, and uh, scaffold um, themes, style themes, or entire plugins, taxonomies, and start a server, um, manage the sidebar, uh, and a lot of things, as you see here. Uh, so with Q you exit from the program and so as I said the first command that we are going to, uh, going to use is WP core download and that will install WordPress for us, uh, download WordPress for us in our current working directory. So the syntax of this command is made of a set of um, flags. Uh, I'll show you I, how it looks like, the full command. I'm not going to execute this because it's just a just for reference. So um, that is the full command that you can use. So you can start by typing WP core download, and then you can specify a set of options like the path where you want to download it, uh, the locale, uh, which is the language, the version that you want to do the load, and you can skip content or force the installation. So um, let's first uh, install, well, download WordPress inside a folder that I will call wpdemo.test and I will uh, not specify a locale. So in this case, the um, installation will be in American English uh, because that's the default. Okay, let me uh, type the command. Let me first clear the screen and let's type WP core download and then we type dash dash path equal sign WP demo dot test that's where the installation uh, the file installation files will be uh, placed and then we can just run this command as it is now I'm not going to specify the locale uh, but in case you want to use it, you can say dash dash locale 
and then you need to look at the uh, locale that you want to use in case you can use EN I think it's UK or IT uh, that was for British English or IT ET for Italian and NL, NL maybe for uh, Dutch so for the Netherlands and you can find more information in uh, the WordPress documentation anyway so let's install the default so in American English and let's press enter and as you see the download process started now and it says it's downloading WordPress 5.4.2 in American English so ENUS might take some time uh, depending on your connection uh, internet connection speed uh, and after that you will find uh, if you open the uh, your current working directory you will find that the tool has created a new folder so the folder that you specified here and in here it will place all the files as you see the files are um, been generated uh, so you need to wait uh, until you finish and then you will be ready to um, move forward to the step number two where we actually uh, we will actually generate the configuration file so basically this for this command um, creates the folder so in this case wpdemo.test and you can replace that with your um, desired path and in, that will be placed inside your current working directory and all the files will be downloaded uh, in this case i am downloading the latest version of wordpress and you can replace so the path you can add the locale and other option if you uh, think you need it and um, or you can omit the locale and download the default american english as i'm doing now So for now we have only the WP admin folder and some uh, some of the files in main um, project root. You need to be patient. It's not stuck. It's just downloading files, I guess. <laughs> and yeah, you see now more files we have. So that's the sample configuration file that it downloads for us uh, that we will use in the next video uh, and populate this information based on our needs. I'm now inside the... Okay, so now we have also the WP content and the plugins and the teams folder and the includes and it's still loading. And let's wait. I'm using a Wi-Fi connection, so if you are connected in 
with the cable straight to your router might take less if you have powerful connection uh, it might take less or Need to wait anyway. So in the latest version, we have the latest three themes uh, that WordPress comes with. So the 2017, 2019, and 2020. And as a plugin, we only have the Akismat and the, I guess, Hello Dolly. Yes. You can use this uh, the WordPress command line interface to to install plugins, install new themes, uh, other than make them uh, directly if you are a developer. And that's it. So the process is completed. And as you see, we got a success message. Uh, WordPress downloaded. And that's it for this video. In the, in the next video, I'll show you how to generate the config file. And then we will follow the other two steps. So we generate the, file, the configuration file, we create the database, and then finally we install WordPress. I'll see you there.